Yo, something crazy just happened. Leakers got arrested. It's affecting the community. Scans might be over. What are we gonna do? Is everybody moving to the official? I'm texting all my friends asking them, yo, are you moving to the official? Will this change? Chill out. <laughs> okay, this, this isn't funny because this is like a pretty big deal. Like people are legitimately getting arrested. And so let's have a serious tone with this video because it's a serious video. One Piece leakers, One Piece JJK leakers have been arrested in Japan. We know that scans and using scans were, that was illegal. I guess taking the scans from the magazines early and putting them on the internet. In Japan, the copyright law is like on another level. So like doing something like that while living in Japan, it's like selling drugs, right? So doing that in Japan is pretty bold and pretty crazy. People just got arrested like in the past 24 hours, like literally just happened. It's been all over Twitter, but the person I'm going to reference today is Sandman AP, like we always do for our news. Sandman, he stays on the pulse of everything One Piece and Oda. A quick history on leaks and leakers being arrested because the question is coming up. Is this changing the community forever? Will we ever get back to getting scans early? Are we all moving to the official? Guys, back in 2015, some leakers were arrested. They got caught red-handed. And then you know what happened? We went to the official for one week, two weeks maybe. And I think after that, we went right back to regularly scheduled programming. I'm talking about like we went back from like Wednesday with scans coming out to like Thursday. In 2017, it happened again. Three people were arrested. The community was in shambles. They got them red-handed. Same thing. Waited two days or two weeks. People used the official, maybe one week. If that, they went right back. Oh, leaks are going to come out. A day later now. Now in 2024, they've cracked down again. Here's the story. FYI, it's a long tweet. Sandman says two people, including a Tokyo-based company owner, were arrested by the Kumamoto Prefectural Police on suspicion of violating the Copyright Act by posting images of manga magazines on the internet before they were released. According to the police, the two denied some of the charges, saying that they did not publish the images. <laughs> the funny thing about this is that Kumamoto is Oda's hometown so these guys they probably knew order you know they, they probably met him on the street and was like yo big fans but hey we're gonna leak it for the people we can continue though the arrested suspects include masu samir 36 a foreign national who runs japan deal world llc in kitaku tokyo which was also arrested on suspicion of violating the copyright law according to an investigation by the police the two suspects were arrested for the following in march last year what? They posted on the internet without permission an image data of a popular manga serialized in Shueisha magazine, Weekly Shonen Jump, a few days before its release, making the data available for viewing. Then on the 31st of last month, he was suspected of violating the Copyright Act by using a smartphone to photograph and reproduce an image of a manga magazine five days before its release. Shueisha, the company that received the damage, they commented and they said, we hope the police's clarification of the spoiler route will help prevent further damage in the future. We will continue to take all possible measures to protect the rights to the works that the authors have put their heart and soul into and to ensure that readers can enjoy the manga in an appropriate manner. So, you may ask the question, how is it possible to post the pages of a magazine before it's released? Well, Sandman has the answer. It says the publishers request the bookstores to start selling the magazines on the official release date. However, some stores that handle the magazine, they don't follow this rule because the magazines are printed way before the release date, obviously. They sell them before that. Some of the magazines are altered to make them appear as if they have not been read from paper magazines, but they confirmed that no digital data had been leaked from the publishers. They said due to this, right, due to spoilers, because of social networking sites like Twitter, people sometimes get spoiled through recommendations, and so they're against spoiler culture. But they said in one case, a publisher received more than 1,000 complaints from readers in a span of nearly a week, whereas they were saying that they were going to stop their subscription from Jump. They said, however, in many cases, the leakers delete the images before the request is made, thereby avoiding account suspension, and the response is not keeping pace with the situation. Our representative from Shueisha did add that works are being read for free. It has resulted in a situation where the authors are not receiving fair profits, and they believe that taking pictures of manga works without permission and leaking them on social media constitutes an infringement of copyright, and they ask that that behavior be stopped. They're saying it is an unforgivable act that could shake the very structure of the industry itself. So, what are my thoughts as a YouTuber that comes across leaks all the time? I've been spoiled unintentionally. I've been spoiled intentionally where people don't care by leaks. That is a huge culture in the One Piece, in the English YouTube One Piece community. I feel them. I get it. I understand why leaks are bad. But I believe that this can be prevented based on what they're saying if they go to a full digital release. Where Get rid of the manga. Get rid of the magazines. But Japan is stubborn. We've heard about Japan for a long time. They are stubborn. Based off of history in 2015, 2017, this is not going to... 
change anything. There are going to be new leakers to take the place because apparently it's a very affluent thing. It's a very profitable business. Your place one is it's like a, a ditto, like a hydra. You cut one head, two heads spawn. I'm all about supporting the official. I read the viz. I pay for the viz. I pay for Shonen Jump. However, the leaks are inevitable. From a YouTuber's perspective, people will say that, yo, it don't matter, bro. Like, it don't matter, bro. Do your review when the manga releases officially. We're going to be there for you, which that's true. Some people are going to be there for me. Most people probably will not. New people probably will not because of just spoiler culture and what it's become. Yo, spoiler videos. It's a huge thing now. Before it was kind of frowned upon like, yo, why you? Now it's like people, that's part of their process. Spoiler video, raws, leaks, review. Then I look at the official to clarify things. It's just become a thing. Now, something I do want to address, because I think I think we got to slow down a little bit. They're saying that reading these things early will affect the publishers or the magazines, the authors being compensated for their work. In Japan, I know authors, animators, the industry in general, people are not paid fairly. And it's not necessarily because people are reading leaks. It's much deeper than that. Now, leaks are part of the problem, but the problem persists because you guys are stubborn. It seems like if we go fully digital, no no leaks will happen because you have more control. Hey, this is the day we're releasing the information. This is the day everybody gets it. As opposed to, oh, magazines being printed weeks before. Shipping. So many hands are touching this information, this material, this gold. Let's be honest. This is the drugs of Japan. I know they got drugs in Japan, but I'm saying it's treated like smuggling. Taking pictures with the camera phone like, oh, I got the new leaks. Y'all ain't got these fresh, hot, hot off the magazine. Woo. I've talked to a lot of One Piece fans. I've talked to a lot of One Piece people, I've ran polls, I've talked to One Piece creators, I've talked to creators in different lanes, because JJK, these leakers were part of JJK and my, my Hero Academia. There's even a scan site that was pretty popular. They shut down, like their Twitter is gone, their site is gone. I mean, they'd have been dropping the ball for weeks, you know? So talking to a lot of people about leaks, talking to One Piece fans, One Piece fans, most fans don't really care. They just want their fix. And so the only way to get people to care is to remove that information. I would like for the authors to be compensated. I buy the box sets. I buy different volumes. I buy figures. I buy merch. You know, I try to support how I can because at the end of the day, let's say I do, I did read a leak or I did use a leak that somehow popped up on the internet, spoiled me by mistake, and I made a video about it. I'm still supporting the official. I still encourage people to go support the official. And so at the end of the day, I really do support the industry. However, the industry has to help itself. You got to help yourself. You got to mitigate these risks. You got to get rid of these openings where people can swipe in because at the end of the day, I don't like spoilers. Right. So I'm not really a huge proponent of spoiler culture. So if the leaks went away, I'm cool. I just wait for the official. But if the new chapter is out there with the spoilers, it's so hard to avoid. Right now, I have to completely go ghost on Twitter, on Twitter, Discord, Instagram, TikTok. I got to go ghost soon as spoilers are out if I do not want to be spoiled because people are so excited. It's almost like people treat this as a birthright. Like, bro, because of who I am, I know what's going to happen next. No, nigga, you know what's going to happen next because spoilers are out. A lot of people read the spoilers. You're not special. You just read the spoilers. You don't have to go out of your way to spoil someone you know that doesn't partake in that. Here's my final verdict. How are you going to like One Piece but don't like Pirate? No, I'm, I'm, um, no. These leakers are like JJK sorcerers. Curse technique. Give me that shit. No, no, no. I'm all about the authors getting their just due. I hope the industry corrects itself. I hope the leaks stop. I'm not against the official or reading the official solely. But we got to stop the leaks because the culture, the community revolves around the leaks. The spoilers, the talk. It is a cycle that's been created through this. Personally. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Personally, I think some of the leaks are orchestrated because a lot of people benefit from leaks. But that's speculative. That's speculative. I don't know. I'm probably gonna take that out the video because <laughs> yeah, we don't want to apologize. Oh, I can't even say it's unfortunate because they were breaking the law, like providing leaks, not illegal to read them. Like they're, they're out there, you know. You guys gotta stop them. Honestly, hope they do. I wouldn't mind everybody being on the same accord and getting the chapter on Sunday when Viz comes out. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't mind that. I actually wouldn't, but let's be honest, guys. Is that gonna happen? Is that gonna think so? I don't think so. I don't think so at oh. Leave me your thoughts. I'm interested to know what you guys think. Again, I've talked to a bunch of people about this. People are kind of 50-50 like, yo, if it's out there, I'm gonna read it. <laughs> you know, if it's out there, I'm gonna read it. Some people are like, yo, 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 that's not right. That's not right. I pay my taxes. Right? I walk my dog. I pick the poop up and the poop on the side of the road. I do that. I take the cart back. When I'm done using it at the grocery store, I put it back in the little thing. If I do all that, you can't just wait till Sunday. No. We'll see what happens next week. Chapter's on break, though. So, like, you know, it's going to be dicey. I don't know what to expect the week after that. When the chapter going to come out, you know, we're going to wait till this. I don't know, guys. But once I know, you will know. <laughs> all right? Like the video. Subscribe. Let me know your thoughts, though, because y'all always got a lot to say. And I'm here for it.
Some of it I don't vibe with because y'all niggas be disrespectful. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Again, Twitter will be below the link to the story and everything. I'm playing. That's just going to be my Twitter. <laughs> but um, I'll put the link as well to the story if you want to check it out because it's a pretty big story. Everyone's talking about it, right? Even Kamala Harris. Like, subscribe. Catch you in the next one. Yes.